Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Memorial Day 2019, and welcome to another exciting edition of Yak Attack. Today, my friends, we are in the town of Pocosin. It's a fishing town, real old fishing town, dates back to the 17th century, and we are going out here to explore Plum Island National Wildlife Reserve. It's, good. it's a really neat place. You can't land on Plum Island because there's unexploded ordnance left over from World War II, but you can sure look at it. It's awful pretty. Isn't that right, Nick? <laughs> it is. Yes, indeed. And so we're going out there, my friends, to once again live the adventures of America from Mauna Loa to Shenandoah. Have and Pocosin too, yeah. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Enter. Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so, Nat, let's stay away from stay away. the live bombs yeah, today. And here we are, folks. We are in beautiful Pocosin. Pocosin, which is an Algonquin word for what was it? Unexplored ordnance. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just decided to paddle around in it. And here we are, folks. We're coming out of a little waterway to our right and to our left is Plum Island. And we're coming out on the Chesapeake Bay. And we are doing an eight mile paddle today. We parked at, ooh, is it Merrick's Point? Mm -hmm. Down in Pocosin. There was a lot of folks going out in boats today. And we put in at the public dock we are going to endeavor to do an eight mile kayak run. And our friend Eric first told us about this years ago. So I'm really happy to be able to see what it's all about. Now, a word of caution, this did say that it was not for beginners. And although we are not seasoned by any means, we have gone out some. So, does that make us not beginners, Nat? Yeah, yeah, we're not beginners. Okay, so we're not beginners. What are we? Uh, middlers. <laughs> we're middlers. Uh, <laughs> middling, middling sort. Hello, friends. So, we are paddling around the Plub Island Wildlife Reserve. And it's very, very beautiful. You can't get out here though. This used to be a bombing range during World War II. So there's all kinds of signs around that says uh, live bombs. <laughs> so Nat and I are going to keep to the waterway and not get out at all onto the beautiful island. But we have seen a lot of wildlife today so far. So it is doing what it's intended to do to protect them. So And I'm speaking more today than usual just because I'm up front in the kayak. And where is my partner? Right here. There he is. He's back there. So he might be a little quieter today. And We'll see how good I am at narration. Dooba da ba doo a ba doo ba da ba doo yeah yeah oom ba ba doo ba da ba doo a 
Shibidapadoo, shibidapadoo, yeah, yeah. It's secret, nobody knows. Yeah, it's secret. Woo, papa, do it up, I do. Shibby dap, I do. Shibby dap, I do. Yeah, shibby top, I do. Shibby top, top, do. Bap, do it up, I do. Birds. He's a dipping bird. <laughs> he, was a it's a dip otter. bird. An otter. Well, because he was like winking, winking about. Oh, no, he's just a bird. Do do ba da ba do wop. Shibby da ba do wop. Do ba da ba do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do now. Woom bop. Do ba da ba do wop. Shimmy shop shop boo wop. Shimmy top ba do. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Now, they are um, a rare turtle. They're they're not endangered anymore, but they're um, what they, the one notch lower than endangered, like protected. They're protected because people used to eat them for turtle soup. Apparently, they're delicious, but they ate too many of them. Yeah, poor guys. And now they're delicious like me. Yeah, dude, like butter. Watch out! I'm going extinct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a warning to everybody. If you're too delicious, you might go extinct. <laughs> Don't be too delicious now. There we are. Uh, we got this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to charge, run the gauntlet here because we are going through an area um, power boat. It looks like everybody in this little tiny place out here owns a power boat. <laughs> this is a boating community. I mean, these guys made their living off the water for centuries. They love the water. Well, friends, we have come back a long ways into this marsh. We found this little river system here, and it's very pleasant. So we have come back here, and we're coming now on the wreck of what looks to be an old seawall with an ancient um, fire extinguisher still strapped to the side. Huh. I wonder if it still works. I don't know. Nah. That's right, guys. I've seen more wild diamondback terrapins today than I ever have. Now you say, well, why aren't you filming them? The reason is, is they wouldn't show up. They're just little heads that stick up real quick and then go back down. Doesn't show up good on GoPro. But what you can see here are these banks. And I bet you can see the little fiddler crabs running around. Those are those little kind of moving objects right there. Fiddler crabs. We may not be able to go much farther back in. I'm not sure. This is fairly deep. It's like three feet deep. But it looks like it's, it's narrowing more and more the further back we go. So we may be coming up to the end of the line. And I'll tell you, you always get crabs when you watch OMC, guys. No doubt about it. We got plenty. Yeah, yeah, if you guys go to the other banks, be sure to try Dirty Dick's Crab Shack. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know how anyone eats there with that name. They have, um, what's the one with the monkey? Oh, um, it's not Try My Balls. That was oh, yeah, they have one called Try My Balls. That was Hawaii. The, no, the no, that was uh, Donkey Balls was Hawaii. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's not really a nice picture. <laughs> no, I don't know why people like you're talking about somebody's junk and sundry junk diseases and then say here eat some food like I don't know why that works <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I guess I suppose it's funny it's catchy it's people remember I think it's pretty funny but I don't want I never I never wanted to eat it, you ever eat it well I did go no but I did go to donkey balls and I spent twenty dollars so I guess it works <laughs> yeah we still have the cup in our, at our house donkey balls cup Big island. Yeah, big island. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is about a year since we come back to, on this very day. Or I guess it's a little past that now, but yes, it's been a year since our big time in Hawaii trip. And we do appreciate you guys watching all those Hawaii movies we made. Mm, is it getting yeah, we're, I don't know, I don't know. A little more to go, maybe. And 
Um, when you're in a tight spot like this, guys, a little safety tip, check your tides. Make sure your tides are good. Because if, if this is what it's like at high tide, then you gotta get out of here. You don't wanna stay in a place like this long if it's high tide. Because when low tide comes, it's gonna just be mud and you'll have no recourse of escape. We checked our tides and okay. it's about was that 344? Mm-hmm. And, and right now it's not even new. Yeah, so the tide's coming in, so we're going to have more water, not less, pretty soon. So we're okay. Look at this. It keeps going. Cool. And, oh, you got to talk about stirring. Stirring. Stirring, too. About who? Stirring. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. Ah, here, this is what, what you're not supposed to do. You gotta look out for that unexplored ordinance too, man. It's everywhere. But, uh, oh, you know what? A little further. I think, guys, and I think you get your preferences. You know, we're still working out the systems for us that work for us and that mm -hmm. make us feel comfortable. But I think for now, I really like the closed in. Yeah. With both sides around me. And when I was out on the open water, I was a little bit nervous. Mm hmm A little I'm not nervous. nervous here. No. So a quick note, when you're paddling and say I wanna go right now, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your oar and kind of put it down deep. We're now coming back out of the marsh area that we were in. Still here in beautiful Pea Island National Wildlife Reserve in the town of Pekosan. Checking out some beautiful marsh, guys. So this is this is really top shelf. Um, now there is no kayak rental here at all. So if you want to come out here and hit it, you're going to have to bring your own. If you have one. A uh, good place to get one if you don't will be your various rental agencies when the season ends. So when it goes from, from fall to winter, a lot of them will sell off kayaks. You can get them cheap. Um, if you buy them new, they are not cheap. They, you know, I, REI kayak, things like that, a modest size one is going to run you four or five hundred dollars. So and that's the cheapest you're going to get, <laughs> unfortunately. So it's uh, just something to keep an eye out, you know, for those deals mm -hmm. from the rental places. Get them used. Oh, yeah. Pocosin means low-lying marshy land in Algonquin. Oh. Low. Okay. Well, they got it right. Because <laughs> that's what you have out here. Low-lying -ly marshy lands. Very handsome ones too. 